Hey there guys, gals, and non-binary pals, Jam Potter here. Welcome to my channel where I review books and bookish things, and there are cats apparently. Today, uh, it is it is October, so we are doing spooky books of October, and I thought this one would be a fun one. It's been on my TBR for a while, but that is Sister Maiden Monster by Lucy A. Snyder. Let's get into it. Okay, this book came out in 2023, and it is an eerie, quirky, with a bizarro bent towards the apocalypse kind of a book. It's a mid-apocalyptic instead of post-apocalyptic. It's, it's about the apocalypse, essentially. Um, novel. It is a triple POV. We have um, three sci-fi horror interlinked stories, essentially. The first one is Erin. She's newly engaged, newly infected with this new virus that turns people essentially into zombies and vampires. Um, she has a craving for brains. She meets she's a type two. She meets a type two. She's a type three, meaning she needs brains. Type twos need blood, um, and has cravings for adult fun times and and her brains. And what follows is a lurid, naughty off-the-rails thriller, um, one spoiler, Tongue with Teeth. So that's the first story, the first part of this book. It's it's all one story, they're interconnected, but that's the first part. The second part is Savannah, a BDSM adult worker who gets exposed uh, to the elder tour by someone named Gregory, who is a uh, frequenter of this. Uh, fun factoid, Gregory is the name of Aaron's betrothed, which is interesting. And she, he, he's turning into this eldritch horror, like what you see on the cover, and he's asking her to unalive him. And when she does, she realizes that it's the best zenith of experience she's ever had, and now she's off trying to recreate that for the eldritch horrors and by eating brain she can steal memories kind of a thing. And then we have Mareva, who, prone to tumors, works with Aaron um, from the first story um, and turn, who turns into an eldritch horror by the end of it, uh, is rescued by a brain-eating psycho unaliver <laughs> because she's now uh, she'll birth the new dominant species, which looks like our cover creature. But they give her a choice. Aaron, Aaron's character cr gives her a choice as to whether or not she wants to. Um, the character voices are very unique in this. They're very uh, defined really well. Um, it's unique writing style and a breath of fresh air in the horror genre, I feel. Yeah, it's it's a Bram Stoker, she's a Bram Stoker award-winning author, Bram Stoker being the award for horror writing, and she deserves it. Seanan McGuire, who's one of my favorite authors, uh, wrote Discount Armageddon, uh, absolutely recommended for readers of the comic and glorious, gloriously horrific. This book is just creepy. It's a visceral story set in the aftermath of our planet's disastrous transformation about what it takes to survive an apocalypse and what we become after. And it's... This book is engrossing. And it and gross. There's a lot of uh, body horror in this book. Uh, it's very heavy on body horror. It's also very much a chance to see what happens when we let when we let the darkness in that our first character Erin wasn't sure she wanted to get engaged she kind of went along with it because that's what she felt she had to do and then immediately got sick and that's that's just where she is um, Savannah is not fulfilling her potential uh, we have Mareva who is kind of held back by her health conditions like all of these these women all of these characters are not reaching their true full potential 
and this apocalypse gives them a glimpse into what their potential could be in a truly horrific way and it's just it's just really an interesting it's almost a coming of age horror novel for the for the 30 something set like like you know how in in movies and in literature for uh, predominantly male audiences you have the coming to grips with who my father was as a man and who I want to be as a man it's sort of like that but coming to grips with who I want to be in my life for women with a with a horror bent it's very interesting um, I highly recommend it I give this one five five of five stars um, if you like horror, if you like spooky, if you like creepy, if you like all of that with a sado naughty bent to it, this is the book for you. I haven't read any other Lucy A. Snyder. She's written 15 books and published more than 100 short stories, which is something very admirable, something that I would love to be able to do. Lucy A. Snyder, I, I guess I'm slow on the uptake here, but I would love to read more from this author. If this is if this is how she writes, this is absolutely amazing. Um, have you read Sister Maiden Monster? Do you want to? Do you like apocalyptic horror? Do you like sci-fi horror? Do you like horror at all? Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Stay spooky!